What's up everyone, Chris Pinnell here from Odd Shopper going over my three favorite props for this weekend's race over on Prize Picks, the Ambetter 301 at New Hampshire Motor Speedway. It's a shorter flat track, pretty similar to a couple tracks that we've been at so far this year. So we do have a decent data set to be able to project this race. And the shorter flat tracks have been a little bit more projectable in my experience so far this season than the other ones. It's pretty similar to Phoenix, Richmond, Gateway, you could also kind of throw in Martinsville as well. And we usually get a decent amount of practice data because it's a shorter track, so we're able to put more laps down, and that tends to translate well over into the race. And we see track position tend to be pretty important, so the guys that qualify near the front tend to be able to stay up front for a good chunk of the race as well. But anyway, getting into New Hampshire, after watching Saturday's practice and qualifying session, it's kind of easy to see who's going to show some speed during the race. I mean, obviously the guys that qualified well had some good qualifying speed, but qualifying isn't always the end-all be-all. You have to look at the practice numbers, who was fast in the 5, 10, 15 lap runs, because over the long course of the race, it's going to be a lot more telling who's going to be fast in the longer run lap data than just a qualifying run in general. So... What I thought was going to be the case was Team Penske being fast wasn't really the case. They were super fast at other short flat tracks this year. They definitely disappointed. Team Hendrick and some of the Toyotas definitely looked to be the fastest, and some of Stuart Haas racing cars looked pretty fast as well. So that's going to lead us into our first pick here. I am taking the over on Martin Truex Jr. at 52.5 fantasy points. Even if that goes up a little bit, I am fine taking the over. I think this could, should currently be at around 60 fantasy points. So I think we're getting some really nice leverage here. He's definitely in the best spot to dominate. And like I said earlier, short flat tracks, it's been pretty hard to pass. And starting on the pole, he's going to have that premium track position to start the race. He's got the best pit stall. He has a fantastic pit crew who's been able to you know, help him maintain spots on pit road or just gaining spots throughout the season. So having the best pit stall, one of the best pit crews, it's going to help him be able to maintain that lead throughout the majority of the race. And he's fantastic at short flat tracks in general. I'd personally have him projected for around 60 to 65 points. Price picks has him at 52 and a half currently. But like I said, even if it goes up, I'm fine taking the over. There's a good chance Truex could lead 100 plus laps in this race, potentially take home the win. And if you do end up enjoying today's free video, make sure you leave a like down below. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet already. Hit that bell so you can notify whenever we post new content over on the channel because there's a ton of stuff coming out each and every single day. And if you are a new user over on Prize Picks, please take advantage of the amazing deal that we have set up for you. Promo code OSMO can get you a free Insta Deposit Magic bonus up to $100 using the code OSMO either at prizepicks.com, download the App Store, or over on Google Play, or head over to their website. Super fun to play on. You can win up to 10 times your entry fees across multiple sports. And there's a bunch to offer over there. Really fun to play on. Highly recommend it. And when you do sign up, you can get a free month of Stochastic Plus Platinum. So take advantage of one of the best deals in the industry. Sign up over on pricepicks.com and use promo code OSMO to take advantage. And moving on to my second pick, I am taking the over on William Byron Fantasy Points. It is currently sitting at 38 and a half. But like Martin Truex Jr., I am fine betting that even if it goes higher throughout the day or tomorrow, whenever you're watching this video, because I think they got this all wrong. I currently have William Byron protected as one of the best drivers on the slate. If you looked at practice or watched practice, he was first in the one and five lap and then third in the 10 lap consecutive lap data. He arguably has one of the best cars, if not the best car, according to Saturday's practice session. And we've seen a time earlier in the season where he was in a very similar spot and where he was super fast in practice and he led a good chunk of laps in that race, scored around 140 fantasy points over on DraftKings, which is the scoring that Price Picks uses. So I think at 38 and a half, if he's able to get up front at any point during this race, he's going to smash that prop as long as he doesn't have any mechanical issues. And also if you're watching the Xfinity race, he had one of the best cars there, was able to get up front, ended up having a couple issues, engine blew up at the end, and then he also had a flat tire. But either way, he looks to be in a prime spot to do very well this weekend. And 38 and a half is way too low. He's currently my highest leverage driver, once you compare my projections compared to what the odds over over on prize picks. So I think we're getting close to 20 point value here and I'm definitely looking to take advantage of that. And moving on to the third and final pick here, it's gonna be the Ryan Blaney under fantasy point prop at 47 and a half. And trust me, it pains to take the under on Ryan Blaney. I'm wearing the shirt for a reason, I'm a pretty big fan, but from what I saw in practice, it really goes against what he's done so far this year at similar track types, so I gotta buy into the numbers here. For him to hit this prop, he's gonna have to basically get you a top four finish, not including any dominator points. If he does get some dominator points, maybe that moves into more of a top five, top six, top seven, but even then, 
from what we saw in practice, it's kind of hard to project that for this race. And if he does not get up front, I'm having a hard time seeing him hit this prop. Because like I said, we're talking a top four finish. Meanwhile, practice data suggests that he's going to be a borderline top 12 car during this race. Now, even if he's a top 10 guy, we can still get away with this prop. But looking at some of the practice speeds he showed, 23rd in the one lap, 21st in the five, 13th in the 10, and 12th in the 15. And the longer those numbers get, the less amount of drivers. So even though we got 13th and 12th, again, it's a smaller sample size of drivers that some of the better drivers didn't even run. So it does prop those numbers up quite a bit. So even though he's been the fastest driver at similar tracks this year, from what we saw in practice, it seems like Team Penske missed the setup. I do think they're going to make some adjustments and be a little bit better, but is it going to be top five better? Probably not, so I'm going to take the under here on Ryan Blaney Fantasy Points, currently at 47.5. And, and as I always say with NASCAR, I tend to side with flex plays more so than power plays because it's a very high variant sport. And you can nail these guys for the large majority of the race, but one flat tire at the end or one guy gets into another at no fault of his own, can completely derail one of these props. So I highly recommend staying with the flex plays on the NASCAR side of things to try to stay away from the high variance of especially power plays and the NASCAR in general. But with that being said, I'm gonna get out of here. I wish you all the best of luck this weekend. And don't forget to use promo code Osmo to take advantage of the instant deposit magic bonus up to $100 and getting that free month of Stochastic Plus Platinum, getting access to all the tools to help you win money across the entire sports world.